Hello everyone, welcome to the Blue Hat SEO series. In this video, we'll give you three simple SEO suggestions and instructions. And to understand the advanced search engine optimization concepts or holistic SEO concepts, I will suggest you to start with the Blue Hat videos. If you don't see the Blue Hat at the left bottom corner, it means that it is not a Blue Hat video, which means it might be very much more complicated than the usual. But still, even if it is the Blue Hat video, even the SEOs with or marketers or entrepreneurs with 10 years plus experience, they also learn new things. So before I publish this video 77 times growth in one year with topical authority ymyl seo this website is in english it is health website and health e-commerce also telehealth marketing company in this video i actually explained many things i even examined the health line by uh, by telling a few wrong things from from their website and at the same time i always give three suggestions or sometimes more than three, but I keep always keep these suggestions specific to that video. So I will be demonstrating you especially helpful content update results. And I will suggest you to watch this video together with this and also this one, because you will realize that the same or the similar type of similar type of, let's say, uh, ranking patterns also appear here too. So the in the previous helpful content update or the content helpful content system update video i explained you that you can't win every type of update or every kinds of algorithmic update because the search engine needs to balance the search engine result page and the result diversification and here too as you see we win actually the march core update we win also broad core algorithm update of the august we win also helpful content update but we lose the quality updates in the August. So there will need to be a kind of lose because they can't always rank you higher. And to be able to achieve something like that, you will need to make actually your brand very much stronger. But most of the time, 99% of the time, the search engine will need to trim your progress a little bit. From time to time, you can see that too. Positive ranking state, then there is a kind of fixation. Then it comes back, then there is another fixation. It comes back, fixation. Then it comes back, then the fixation, then it comes back. The important thing here is that these slow decreases doesn't mean that actually it will be continuous as long as you have a bigger picture on your mind actually things will be better and that's why i love actually the topical authority methodology that i created or the conceptual conceptualization under that as well so to be able to understand this video as i say i will suggest you to watch this video first and understand the su suggestions that i have given this part then try to watch also this specific video too because here we explain multiple different websites too and this is the previous version of that specific one which means that when you watch actually this specific video you will see the pre helpful content update version this will be the later uh, version after the helpful content update again this is the pre helpful content uh, update version 2 and this is the helpful content update effect for this one probably this will be also the last video for this specific project too so let's check the comparisons before the suggestions this is the last one to eight the difference as you can see the impressions actually have been increased in a very much better way despite the impression increase also the average position is better too and ctr is fixed which means that actually we are ranking better compared to before but also we increased our total query count and when you come to the actually uh, last month comparison you can realize that six times more than six times the traffic has been increased impressions actually are being increased like 17 times and when you when we do actually year over year comparison it is like from 1000 to the 8 8000 and the impression increase again it is really high average position increase also is very high too and this is the repetition sorry and when we do the same comparison actually for just seven days year over year i don't know how to calculate this increase but you can do it without me especially the impression increase is very uh, high too so when it comes to the suggestions that we will be giving to you for this context in terms of the helpful content update i will be giving you three suggestions and one of them is about the long form questions let me explain like this long form question answering so the long form question answering is very different from the short form question answering this is also called actually trivia questions or q, q a so 
search engines and any kinds of natural language processing system or natural language understanding system it is very good when it comes to the short form question answering but the long form question answering is very very hard and what is the difference between a long form and the short form question first of all you should understand that it is not about the word count in the question even if you have even if you have 30 plus words in in a question still actually in a question still it can be short form it's not about the length of the question it is about the structure of the question you should understand this and most of the time the long form questions according to natural language processing they actually involve an if statement or an answer part it goes like this question plus answer with a condition or qualifier such as this let's say what is the importance of life if we all die so this is not a very good question sorry let's ask for another one what is the let's say mm, okay let's ask something like this let's say what is the effect of moon to the earth's orbit if let's say despite its it is way smaller not smaller let's say i don't know the english word for it let's say way uh, lighter or something like that let's say way smaller let's uh, let's assume compared to earth so you should understand this section it doesn't matter what question we're asking here the important thing here is that we are providing a kind of declaration directly inside the directly inside the question because when we say if we all die this is first of all a kind of qualifier a kind of a condition we have the if section here sometimes you don't have a kind of condition but you have a qualifier and usually the qualifiers they can they might be declaration or let's say a statement because here too we tell that the moon is actually way smaller compared to earth but still does it affect on the earth's orbit or orientation etc so you this is the structure of the long form questions the problem here is that search engines are not that good at to answer the long form questions because of many reasons but the first one is usually the condition section doesn't appear in the documents second one is usually the condition section is not accurate because most of the questions that we ask based on the conditions or the qualifiers they are coming from our assumptions which means it is a hypothetical fact it's not the fact because we saw that yes oh it's certain that actually the moon is smaller than the earth but how smaller because we say way smaller but it is not a measurement like how many times I don't know 500 times or 5000 times how many times and are based on what kinds of a comparison it can actually have the effect let's say it doesn't have any effect but maybe that effect or existence of a, that effect or non-existence of that effect doesn't have to be connected to its weight or its size maybe it is just about the distance of it or maybe there is another factor there so usually the thing in our mind while asking the question it might not be connected to knowledge base and factual repository of the search engines so this is one of the issues of these type of questions so try to this based on this the first suggestion to you is that please try to stay loyal to the short form question answering if you want to use long form question answering do it like this use an h2 or grouper question usually i call it grouper question and it should be short form and for the h3 let's assume put your let's say conditions or qualifiers statements declarations in the form of short form questions as a connected question and for these type of questions by the way the questions doesn't have to be answered with a positive answer this is one of the things also you can also give negative answers too you can tell that the moon doesn't affect in any way the earth's orbit and it is not related to the actual its size and this is our actual second question in this case too first of all please ask unique questions <coughs> 
So the first one is stay loyal to the short form question. If you have long form questions, use these kinds of a grouper aspect and try to create a hierarchy based on the contextual flow. And the second one is ask unique questions and not every question has to make sense. You can also ask silly questions. This is one of the problems actually when it comes to the helpful content system or understanding it because usually search engine optimization marketers they focus on the questions that we can have from PAA which means already existing and already asked and answered questions but as you know previously Google actually launched the question hub of Google and the purpose of the, actually the question hub is helping search engines or the creators to, or let's say helping creators and search engines to meet at the same place to satisfy the users for their unique unique needs and i i have actually multiple uh, videos but i will be also publishing a video just about the translated results because as you know the search engines translate your documents if you go to the search console then if you click to the actual search appearance in this translated results section that, that you will realize that google is translating these websites because of its quality which is also a signal for your uniqueness or overall quality because it means that for that region that language the search engine doesn't trust the existing sources and they use your information even if you have small numbers in this area still it's important and you can see that together with the core algorithm update and the helpful content update the impression amount is increasing if you go to the countries you can see Indonesia or even sometimes United States or Brazil or Vietnam for different type of context most probably someone used a non-English language in United States and that's why this English website from UK has been used there this is also a good signal there and why this is important because when you ask a unique question you give search engine a reason to trust you because first of all there is no consensus you are the consensus there second of all when they have that specific answer the search engine also will feel more confident because the the thing that a search engine hates is not having a document or not having an answer if someone asks for something and if there is no document no passage to show it's one of the dangers because then a that user can use another search engine or a large language model to answer their question even if it is a made up answer or uh, or delusional answer still as you know the users don't know to how to prove it so unique questions you should be asking and you can use these long form question format or these conditions or qualifiers to create the unique questions as much as possible because as you know questions don't have to make sense answers should be making sense uh, in, in by staying accurate as much as possible so let's give you the third suggestion and we implemented all these things for this project too or other projects as well we implement these as well and the third suggestion is about citations of the sources in my methodology in my methodology I do not link out the citations and another problem is that usually the scientific resources they give their citations or the resources or the sources like at the bottom of the content by telling one then the book name let's say person name year etc type of things and they list like 54 different sources like this first of all do not think that machines are that smart a human can understand that this is a citation section but most most probably search engine won't understand what these things are they won't understand why we are actually listing these things why this year is connected to this person name why this person name is connected to this book name even if they understand it they won't understand in what way this section has been connected to your document because most of the time we use a structure like this this one appears in the article let's say we give an answer here by telling that moon is blah 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 at the end we write one from search engine point of view this is just parent has this and the one that's it and this is one or the first and book name person name and the year and when you create your document try to create that document for every type of algorithm and more than half of the algorithms of the search engines they won't be able to create this relation from the most bottom part of the document to the top part or middle part it will be harder for them even if you use the jump link still it is harder that's why at the end of my sentence 
I tell according to book, blah, blah, page, blah, blah, person, blah, blah, year. So if you are able to actually integrate your source directly to your paragraph, it is better. And also you should understand that 99% of the humans or readers or researchers, they won't be going to the top of the page, then bottom of the page to just see the resources. Most of the time they will try to read actual resource directly at the beginning and Based on this structure, we actually connect everything to each other for any kinds of basic NLP system. You should understand that also. Let me write it here too. Search engines do not use the every level of algorithm to understand every type of website. So it, the question here is not whether the search engine can understand you or not. The question here is that whether they will spend that money or time or that they, whether they will run these algorithms for your website or not. That's why I keep everything simple which is also about cost of retrieval which is the concept that gives inspiration to the topical authority in my methodology and my approach. So I have given you three simple suggestions while updating one of the results. We will be publishing more videos. But before that, I would like to suggest you a few research papers. As you know, in Blue Hat SEO videos, I don't deep dive into the research papers that much. But LF5 means explain it to me like I am five. And this is actually a subreddit. And this re subreddit uh, has like probably millions of questions. And all the questions are in the long form and in natural language. Basically, these researchers from Meta, they actually try to, and also Google too, or Facebook, etc. They try to make a research here to understand how they can solve these long form question answering problems. And based on that, they try to run some certain type of large language models, but there are still some issues or the problems here. First of all, as I say, the longer section here, whatever it is, it might not be appearing in the knowledge base or it might not be appearing in the vector database. Or the problem is that the the condition section or the answer section of the question, it might be connected to another topic, but the question might be from another topic and it might require us to actually merge two different index, despite we can't do that. So there are these type of approaches here. I will suggest you to check this research paper. It is not that long. And even if you just read a few things here, I believe it will be really helpful to understand what kinds of challenges the uh, engineers actually have in this area they also talk about the cost this is also a simple document for natural language processing it is also focusing on actually the long form question answering in terms of the search engines information retrieval and search engine optimization it might be helpful for you to understand your money or your life uh, search engine optimization efforts in the context of uh, telemarketing health marketing or also shopify or the web stores too in this one as well actually they try to or at least this document tries to explain how you can use actually certain type of simple uh, let's say libraries of the python for long form question answering and here too they actually explain different type of vectors can be appearing and then they might be coming from different different contexts but still we will need to merge them and here too also they ex explain different type of context understanding methodologies of the vectors and one of them is the cousin similarity other one other one is the euclidean distance which means the distance between these things represent the contextual relevance or we will check the cousin similarity which means basically something like this imagine that we have multiple dimensions it goes like this and here we have another one but imagine that this is not just two dimension also three dimension and this means something let's assume king and then here so if king is in that shape we should be having a queen and the queen should be very similar to that as well so the cousin similarity also has been improved further in the context of tensor as you know tensor flow has been found and created by google and it works based on actually directly the uh, cousin similarity but even further because a tensor has too many dimensions which is one of the approaches in fact when we talk about a vector sorry for going a little bit deeper but i will keep it simple a vector is something like this multiple numbers okay so i will try to explain you why it is hard for humans to understand this approach because 
you can understand this let me write here just two numbers okay one two this means that actually from the area one the second region that's it two dimension very easy to understand right there is a, a there is a kind of area and there's a sub region under it and it can be a simple simple coordinate but when it comes to this specific vector it means that actually the area of 1241 then this is the region then this is a sub region let's say this is a district this is the street and there is a word or there is a vector here and it might be actually representation of let's say the queen in this area and in this case if this is the queen the other one also will be a little bit similar to this when you change a single number here it might be the king so this is what we call as the vector and the vectorization means that we actually take every word here and we turn them into the vector and we take them into a database and whenever these vectors come together we try to understand the context this document ex or explains that probably I will be put it putting into the description area too this is from Microsoft Microsoft patterns and the research papers are also important too as you know some of these people from different companies also work together and they also follow each other's work always extracting facts from unsubscribed information means that actually reading documents and actually bringing facts into the knowledge base and as you see Microsoft also tries to do the same thing for many years as Google does too they for many years actually over a decade way much longer they are actually competing against each other because Microsoft for instance they have Satori Microsoft Bing actually has the Sat Satori Satori means understanding in Japanese let me write here and Satori is the name of knowledge base of the Bing. Maybe I can search for it. Understand your world with Bing. So, since with the ChatGPT, the Microsoft Bing also started to be started to be more popular. And latest update of the Microsoft also integrates the large language models directly into the, your Windows computers or devices, which is important. And around 2013 nearly the same year uh, google knowledge base actually has been announced they actually announced directly the satori so that's why understanding this structure will be helpful for you to understand google too as you know patterns are way ways of analyzing the businesses if google let, let's say if microsoft is your competitor then you will check the competitors patterns so that actually you can create competition to protect your own ideas legally and that's why their system or the methodology here, methodologies here that they are using it will need to be different from what google actually does and here too you can actually understand different type of options or hypothetical facts and how they can actually understand which domain is more authoritative or involves more accuracy or different type of systems here especially this one uh, there is one section there let me try to show it to you and then i will promote one of our community members as i do every week and it was this is actually what i mean in this area when you connect your source directly to the sentence it is easier for them to parse and understand these sections directly and since this is from microsoft we can see facebook a little bit more here they have more common things compared to google and this entity itemizing component this is one of the important uh, sections and this is also important too. as you see here we have one entity one relation than another entity so this is actually what we try to do here too based on the query or the vectors that we can create from the query we try to match them to the document based on the context to understand the context we need to understand the relation between these entities and usually in the long form questions the relations are too variated and it might be distracting the search engine but if you make the questions shorter and group then you will stay in the same context and understanding it will be easier so i already exceeded the 20 minutes sorry i hope i am not uh, tiring you let's promote our member here and he is sorry for that suresh kumar g so he is one of the very talented and innovative members of the holistic seo communities and also he is one of our trainees in our course community and also private coaching group too and he started to he is already getting the results but he also started to get results and he also shared his latest results by mentioning us and i'm very happy 
for uh, for having him actually in our communities to promote the abundance mindset every week i will be promoting one of our members if you share your results please do it openly and as you see here sometimes i even leave my websites open in my videos it won't be harming that website in any uh, in any way but it might be helpful for someone to change their lives so if you want to be part of our communities you can always join there will be a link in the description area and follow the Suresh Kumar G and be a friend with him. He is a very one of the most kindest person in this industry. And in the next week too, uh, if we see your results, we will be also sharing your results too. If you go to the topical authority that digital, which where we actually improve our semantic SEO fundamentals course for here too, you can listen to the Suresh's opinions about our course. If you want to join to the, our also the private coaching group, let uh, let me know because last week actually we explained more than eighteen different websites sites search console data in a more detailed way just for the helpful content update and i believe the first coaching group they will be really advanced on these things because they got all of the really advanced uh, lectures and the recordings and more samples too so my people we will continue to improve the seo culture together i'm really happy to have you here leave your comments and leave your questions there and see you later ah sorry one more thing you asked actually how the uh, situation went with our let's say the marriage so on the 20th of the october i am getting married that's why maybe i am i might be answering your questions later than usual sorry for that uh, but things will be normal again one day i hope <laughs> see you later